thank you so much for for joining my uh, unthinkable movement, my unthinkable conversation. So my vision is to to teach pe people to do to achieve the things that are beyond what they can imagine and becoming the unthinkable. And you're one of those people I I had the, the privilege to interview for my for my book that that I have been working on for the last six years. And you have greatly inspired me with what you have achieved. But I think um, Thank on the you. side of your big achievements as a as explorer as a mountaineer. Um, uh, doing the Explorers Grand Slam, you have also done so much more uh, than just just doing incredible um, uh, physical challenges. So uh, your view and your insights on that. So um, I would like to start with the first question. Um, what are your thoughts on becoming the, the unthinkable? Well, I mean, it's, it's a... It's a pleasure and an and honor to, uh, you know, to be called uh, and, and to be part of this amazing uh, initiative that you have started. I think, uh, you know, we we need, and I think that, that this new generation who's coming uh, need uh, ideas and also role models that they can uh, uh, maybe uh, follow uh, on their uh, footsteps. And uh, to have examples of people who, um, you know, have a story, because each one of us have a story. Each one of us is unthinkable. Each one of us can do absolutely anything. Each one of us is great. And greatness is not something that God uh, choose the, uh, uh, just uh, um, few people in this earth to present the greatness. We all have greatness in our life. We all have something that we can give. Um, the only thing is sometimes is missing that we are, we believe in ourselves. And I think this is one thing that I have practiced. This is one thing that I um, master is that I always believed in myself 100% because uh, I always discover when you believe in yourself in an idea, in something, in a dream, everyone around you believe in you. If you have a single doubt of this dream, single doubt of this goal that you have and you try to convince people, I don't think anybody will be able to believe in you and help you and, and be surrounded by you. But when you believe in that idea and this, uh, in any ideas that we have, we have to have the passion behind it because that's what will move us. That's what will wake up at five o'clock in the morning to do the run, to train, to be disciplined, is that we have passion of what we do. That is the key, is that uh, you have the passion. And, and passion is there, <clears throat> and you can discover it when you are a young per, uh, uh, boy or a girl, or you can discover it when you are an adult or maybe when you are an older. So you need to get that passion and move in your life because that's what's going to bring happiness to you and people around you. Um, how was it for you on your journey? Did you always have this strong belief, this passion? Yes, I guess. I guess I did, uh, you know, I, I, and, and I'm certain I did because uh, I, I were able to achieve everything I, I put in my head to achieve it. And I think the biggest things is to help people. And I, since I was a little kid, I always worked to help my family. I, 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 I finished school. I knew my dad did not have enough money to send me to university. So I started working. Um, started as a waiter for years and years, and 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 then washed dishes uh, in England when I moved there because I didn't have any uh, uh, English language. But I did that because I wanted to help my family. I moved from my home country to go to another country, being a stranger, to help my family. I um, I achieved what I achieved after that, and you know I can tell you. My biggest achievement is not becoming one of 20 people now in the world to uh, to complete the Grand Slam or Polar Adventure and, and Mountaineer. And my biggest achievement is we're able to fundraise $5.8 million to charity. This is my biggest achievement. I were able to help uh, people uh, to achieve their own dream. I was helping to bring uh, uh, some 
somebody in a wheelchair up to the highest point in, in, in Africa, the, a blind man to Africa. That's my achievement. This is my real achievement, is helping people, helping my community and trying to make a change. Um, how how do you teach people to 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 achieve their dreams? Because it's we, we can read a lot of books, but how how do you how do you inspire someone? How do you motivate someone to to actually do it? Okay, you will never teach someone to do something and to achieve their dream. They need you know I I am a tool. I'm somebody who's going to come there and make you uh, realize it by telling you. What I did, I came from a refugee camp. I came from absolutely nothing. I, I went on in my life having nothing. Uh, and, but I had one single thing, which is uh, um, uh, working hard. Believe that you, there is nothing going to come to you just like this. There's nothing that Mustafa will come and put you on the top of Kilimanjaro if you're in a wheelchair. If you really want it 100% in your heart, then I will be able to help. But if you cannot have that, this is which is the most important thing that you really want it and you have the passion for it, then it doesn't matter what I do. I can carry you all the way up and you won't be able to make it. So the start of helping somebody achieve in their dream, I will always be there. Every time I have Uh, uh, a message from anybody or a call, I was always happy to help. When one thing I would know that you're really going to work hard to do it. You're not just expecting to uh, hand it to you on, uh, uh, on, on a plate of gold. Yeah, I I feel uh, I think in the, in the mountaineering the, there are a lot of people going going to Everest. Um, you know that, that you know they are um, working with with Sherpas or you know that they, they they have people carrying their stuff up the mountain. What 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 what's your thought on that? Like the, you know that that it has become a sport of of really wealthy people just to uh, just to go up there. You know, Mount Everest is, um, you know, it's it's the dream of so many people who want to climb it. And, and there is always this uh, um, season where the best time you're going to go is April, May to climb it. So you're going to have people coming from all over the world. The mountain is huge. It's big. You just need a little bit of communication between all these expeditions that come to the mountain to make it up to the top safely. That's the most important. Now, nobody's going to be able to carry you to put you on the mountain. You have to make that walk. Some people maybe have more money to get more Sherpa. They can use oxygen from Camp 2. And this is now being, lots of people are doing that. This is when you afford it. Or some people who come in and, and have, you know, not that luxury, but they still can make it to the top. And that's because they really have a passion and the love of the mountain, not just the love of uh, the idea of that you're going to go there and climb a mountain and become in first or whatever. Uh, my dream, when I had my dream to climb Mount Everest, I mean, I had no idea uh, um, that Everest actually was between Nepal and, and China. I thought Everest was uh, uh, in America. I had no idea about anything called mountaineering. Uh, but when I, um, I always believe if you, if you really want to do something, you need to have the knowledge, you need to have the background knowledge. And I start reading as many books as I can. I did everything I can to understand what I, I'm putting myself into. In the beginning, it's like I, I remember, uh, uh, you know, um, that, you know, this is a mess that I put myself into and I just want to come out of it. But then I start loving the whole challenge, I changed in myself. I changed a lot. I stopped smoking. I stopped clapping. I stopped taking anything that is not good for me. And I start training and understanding what I'm doing to achieve it. Now, my dream was to stand in the top of the world and pray for peace. That was my dream. And, and, and I didn't make it in the first time, which is 2005. I can just rub it off and go back To, uh, to continue my career, which is a dream that I have since 
since I was uh, uh, washing dishes in London that I want to become a general manager for Five Star Hotel. And I was nearly there when I had that dream. But I went back in 2007 and I still didn't make it in 2007. I went back in 2008 and I made it in 2008 because I didn't give up. And I didn't give up because one thing, because I had uh, some sort of a mission that I wanted to do. It wasn't just about me. It was about the big idea that I was following. And it did fall little by little. It wasn't for me to conquer the mountain. It was for me to conquer myself, that's first. And for me to deliver a message, and I knew what was that message, is to make a, uh, to make a change in the Middle East, to make a change in my own country, to, make, uh, uh, to write uh, the uh, books, to change the culture of adventure in the Middle East, uh, to fundraise money for different charity. So, uh, you know, every time you have, um, uh, when you have a goal, every time you achieve that goal, the goal is get bigger and bigger. If it's not all about you. When it's about you, that goal, when you achieve it, finish is done. That, that finish. You're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to get bigger. But the goal itself get better when you put that goal before you and when you put everything, when you uh, leave your ego uh, uh, at home and you come out uh, and you know that everything that you do, you're doing it for somebody else. You're not doing it for you. Of course, we all want something to bring us happiness. And for me, my happiness is to make a difference. This was the first part of my conversation with Mustafa Salame that I had a few weeks ago about his perspective on doing the unthinkable. For more content, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're interested in, in mindset coaching and unthinkable coaching, check out my website on unthinkablemastermind.com.